Welcome back to another exciting episode. Episode? What am I talking about? I'm thinking of something else. Welcome back to another unboxing here on Civi. I got a knife. I got a box. Let's find out what's in it. I actually know what's in it. This is just... I just cut into my desk. Oopsies. This desk is a ghost desk. Gotta watch out for the ghost desk. All right. So this should be a cheapo projector that I did not look up the name of that arrived today. This is the most cost cost effect efficient high resolution LED LED projector. Uh, apparently. You know what? Uh, HRQ. It does not say who makes it. Power supply. Hopefully we'll find out. But let's look on the side here. I don't know uh, if I can... I'm not even going to try and zoom. Well, I could zoom in on it. Let's not do that. Let's, let's just leave it. I will tell you the specifications. It has a TFT LCD. 400 to 600 lumens. I'm not sure why that would be in amount. 801 contrast. 320 by 240 pixels with a supported, like that's its native resolution. Its supported resolutions is up to uh, 1920 by 1080, so it'll uh, scale them down for you, basically. So hopefully that'll look all right. We got an LED light, supposedly okay for three or 30,000 hours. Yeah, manual, manual focused, focus. Uh, the projection distance is 0.8 to 2 meters. Projection size goes 24 to 60 inches. A ratio of uh, one to one point six to one, and aspect ratio of four to three. Which, if you use ten eighty, it'll just cut the other pieces off there. And it's got sixteen point seven million colors. Comes with a twelve volt adapter. Apparently, has ten to twenty four watts of power. So that's basically nothing. Uh, system support supports multimedia, music, pictures, videos. Comes in twenty three languages, and is twenty four. Uh, 26.4 by 85 by 47 millimeters. And that's literally all it has to say on the box. Other than telling me what HD formats it supports. So let's, uh, let's get into here if we can. No seals on the box. Uh, but let's see. Ah. Uh, this was like $56 or something like that. There's a link for it in the description. Uh, even though I can't tell you, like, it's just packed very strangely. Wow, it is very small. Holy shit. So here's the projector. We'll put it right there. Let's see what else it comes with. We've got an AC adapter and... Uh, a, uh, this is TTRS, uh, adapter to all of your fun, uh, non HD outputs. We have a remote control. That is a gross bag. Ew. It was actually a nice looking remote control. Wonder who they stole it from. Like that's, that's all right. Does it come with a battery? No, it does not. God damn it. I need to find some triple A's. All right, we've got some user guidelines. It passed QC. Uh, okay. For sure, a Chinese thing. Let's see, what does it say? Preparation before light on. Ooh, this is translated particularly good. Uh... So light's going to turn on when you turn the power on, turn the power on and off, remote control, user interface, focus, connection, takes SD cards. Well, we'll see what it takes. Multimedia source, so it has a source select. Okay. And then the other side is, oh, this is all in English. Uh, HDMI equipment, uh, audio device, menu guides, built-in battery power supply. That must be for a version I do not have. Okay. It's a very strange box. 
but we've gone over Ugh, that sound it comes with a power supply yep and let's get into the bag this is very small what do I have around here to kind of show you somebody got their fingerprint on here by the looks of it that's okay those are tiny buttons oh my goodness Where's the HDMI? Okay, it's on the side. All right, let's find something about the same size. Um, <clears throat> Here's an Xbox One controller. As you can see, it's a great controller. You can see my video about that on the channel. But this is, in fact, less wide and less tall than, a, than an Xbox One controller. It's, it's, in fact, everything is smaller than an Xbox One controller. So if you have an Xbox One controller, there you go. So let's see what we can find out by just like checking it out. We've got our focus ring right there. So you can get focus in and out. I assume that's a speaker. We've got buttons. We've got, I just put my finger on the lens, never do that. Uh, power indicator, micro SD card, five volt in. Hmm, I wonder if you can power this off of USB, because that would be fucking sweet. You know what? We're gonna do some science here. Oh, we can't do science right now. We'll do science. I'm gonna test this. We'll do science in that video. We've got headphones out, AV out, which is what this cord is for. It goes right in there, and then you get your old school stuff. If you're connecting like an old camera or something like that. On the side, we've got USB, DCN, something here. Some sort of dip switch. HDMI, normal. And nothing else. A little fan uh, exit for when you got a fan. And that's about it. Let's just move that over there into frame. Kind of had it out of frame most of the video. But that's okay. We're here. We've unboxed the thing. I'll test it out uh, in another video. I'm actually buying this for... Oh, that's really good. It has a Cori 20. This is important. Do I have a tripod head? I do. That's actually really important for what I'm using it for. I am going to use this, I'm going to attempt to use this, for D&D. &D. So I'll have this hanging above the play field. And basically everything that I'm doing is being projected. And then the players can play inside of the space I project. Which sounds pretty cool. But yeah, totally. It's just core 20 on the bottom. That makes life so much easier. Oh my goodness. So, uh, hopefully this thing just isn't bad. Uh, there were no reviews on Amazon. So, we'll see. For today, I'm Sivvy. I thank you for hanging out while I unbox this thing. I'm kind of excited. I'll see you guys next time.